Hello Sagittarius, this is going to be a love reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are. I'm doing great. So today we're going to get into love energy for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This can be for your sidereal or your western sign, whichever you resonate with, it's fine. As long as you resonate with Sagittarius energy, this should work for you. So let's see what's going on between you and your person. There is an extended version of this reading where we go over the next 30 days between you and your person. So if you would like to see that, it is in the link in the description box, okay? So we have the answers you need are coming. So you could be dealing with a Gemini because we have full moon in Gemini here. Uh, the full moon in Gemini usually takes place, um, Gemini Sag. So yeah, this is like during your time. This is during what your time of the year, right? Because, uh, the full moon would be in Gemini during Sagittarius season, right? So this is talking about you specifically, Sagittarius. Um, your Oracle is once burned, twice shy. So this is telling me that uh, there's probably someone coming back around to you for closure. Uh, there's probably, this is someone that you've had, uh, ha a past with, and it probably didn't go the best with this person. Yeah. We have this time to release, uh, negativity, right? And look at that new moon in Sagittarius. This is literally talking about your energy Sagittarius, because even with the new moon in Sagittarius, that's still your energy coming through here. So Pretty much you have closure or a conversation coming with someone that you have history with. I just feel like with once burned, twice shy, things didn't go the best with this person. Um, so let's see what they're feeling, what the energy is between the two of you right now. What is the energy between Sagittarius and their person spirit? What is the energy between Sagittarius and their person? Let's see. You have the page of pentacles, the page of coins. So this person could definitely be a Capricorn. Uh, we also have the Ace of Swords. I'm telling you, there is communication coming in from somebody. This person wants to apologize to you. Page of Pentacles. This person wants a relationship with you. The Eight of Pentacles. This person's been sorting out their life. They've been getting their credit score together. I'm hearing, me, me at the altar in your white dress. We ain't getting no younger. You might as well do it. Yeah, feel you are the one girl I must confess. Yes. And I'm hearing the fucking, uh, the remix version. That girl that be jumping. Yo, I used to go to this little teenage club, right? And we were all chill until that song came on. And for some reason, every time that song came on, it got the party jumping. All right. So I'm hearing that in my head. Whoever this person is is someone who wants to meet you at the altar. They say, bring your dress. Okay. This person might actually be into astrology because I'm really being drawn to the uh, Zodiac wheel behind this Ace of Swords, which I've never have been before. So that might give you a clue who this is. This person could be spiritual. You two could have a spiritual connection. But I definitely see apologies. I see I want to work this out. I want to have a relationship with you. Uh, you know, this person might even buy you something. They might have a ring. They might have a contract. Some of you, this person might have bought you a house. I'm hearing. Who y'all doing with Sagittarius? They got a brother. Okay. You know, I'm listening for, for who this person is. I, I'm like, who's this? So let's see what your energy is towards this person, Sag. What is your energy towards this person? They could be an Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini, Scorpio. The Six of Pentacles. Mm, I don't know. You might be in a receiving mood, Sagittarius. Maybe some of you, this person owes you money. That could be something as well. Maybe this person owes you from a contract. Maybe you two did do some real estate together or something like that. So this person could even owe you something. You're in the receiving mood, though. The Six of Pentacles came out. So, Moon and Taurus energy. Wow, look at that. As soon as I said Taurus, I looked at the bottom of the deck. The Empress. Wow, I love the Empress in this deck. So, with this Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, some of y'all might be getting pregnant by this person. Um, just saying, they could want to have a child. Maybe that's been something y'all have been discussing in your relationship. Maybe this person hasn't been as open to it. But they are open to this now, okay? Um, receiving, again, you could be receiving somebody's seed, okay? Okay, or giving somebody a seed. All right. So we have the Three of Swords in reverse, but we also have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So uh, for some of you, you guys are dropping a water sign and there's someone new coming in your life. So just letting you know, like some of you guys might be trying to get over a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who is very manipulative. 
um, and you're open to a new person. That could be it too. Okay, so Sagittarius, let me speak to you guys. There could be someone new coming in towards you. Okay, someone that you haven't dealt with in the past. Let's put that that perspective out there. Maybe you guys were stuck on a water sign or an earth sign, right? You were stuck on a Gemini. You are open to new love. And now that you're getting over someone, I feel like you're open to offers. And there is definitely one coming towards you with like stamina behind it with the Ace of Swords. There's some truth behind this offer that you're receiving here. So if you have a water sign or somebody who's emotionally manipulative, who's in your way, you need to remove that person from your energy. That's why we have this time to release negativity because there is a better opportunity coming in. And I feel like y'all are receptive. This person could have already tried with you in the past, but maybe you weren't open to them. Um, because you were still healing from a water sign or healing from somebody who did some emotional manipulation to you. So just saying, whatever this offer is that's coming in, it looks like you're receptive. Now, for those of you that this is a reconciliation with someone, I feel like with the Queen of Cups in reverse, this is telling me two things. One, you're not going to be the one who's giving in this situation anymore. This person is going to be the one who's giving to you and you're going to be the one who's receiving, which it probably needs to be that way if it's been out of balance with the Six of Pentacles here. And then for others of you, um, you're over something that this person did to you. So maybe you guys are reconciling with somebody who, like I said, they weren't the best to you in the past. The Queen of Cups in Reverse can be very emotionally manipulative, can be very emotionally unavailable as well. So Whatever the situation is, I do see you taking an offer from somebody coming in. This person wants to offer you something. Let's get one more card for your person side since we have three for you. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius' this person. Let's see what the energy is for Sagittarius' this person. What's going on for Sagittarius' this person? We have the Eight of Swords. They're not sure if you're going to take this offer. That's all they can think about, though. The Eight of Swords is making you an offer. Some of you, this is definitely a Gemini coming in. Look at that. The Two of Cups, they want to take you out to drinks, dinner. They want to, This person might be out uh, looking to propose. I feel like some of you guys might get a proposal from somebody very nervous. They don't know if you're going to be receptive towards it. Maybe this person knows that you had issues with somebody in the past. I'm hearing, you remind me of a girl that I... So maybe you remind this person of the person in the past. Maybe they triggered you in the same ways. I don't know. Maybe they're the same sign. Maybe they just don't feel like you're ready for it. Maybe they don't know. Maybe they don't know if you're ready to accept their uh, proposal or offer of a relationship for whatever reason. So this person's in their head about it. They can't... That's all they... All I do is think of you. Somebody is clear audience for me to be getting all these damn songs this early because I just started doing these damn readings out here, okay? So that is the energy between you and your person, Sagittarius. You are getting an offer from someone. I see you receiving it. I don't see you doing any other work, really, and I don't feel like you need to. This person that's coming towards you either knows, one, that you've been hurt recently and they're not asking for much from you. They actually just want to give to the situation. They want to move forward. They, you know, want to move slow at your own pace, but they do want to get the ball rolling. And if this is an old person, someone you dealt with in the past, they already know what they've done and they don't expect you to pull any weight in this relationship. So it is time to rele release negativity, uh, Sagittarius. So don't comment anything negative in this uh, chat because the energy is for you to release whatever happened to you. Some of you guys got really hurt by a Scorpio or something. They're saying let it go. Like, let it go. Now, I'm not saying that if they hurt you bad, but maybe you need to get therapy or something if it's to the point where you can't receive a blessing that the Spirit is trying to give you. Sorry, I had to be blunt. What does that say, y'all? Let's talk about it. It says y'all in these Scorpios. Y'all and these Scorpios. So who dealing with a Scorpio? Because I just said it and, and okay. Also, if you want a chance to win this deck, I will be opening up my spring specials again towards the end of this week. So if you want to get in there, this is the last chance to get in the spring special this weekend only. So when you're watching this, make sure that you look on um, Thursday, around Thursday. It's Monday now. I will be reopening the slots. I got booked up. I didn't want to get overwhelmed. So just letting you guys know. All right. So we're going to go ahead and move into the extended. We're going to be looking at the next 30 days between you and this person to see what happens between y'all. Um, if you guys want to check out my oils and my candles, please do that in the description box below. Anything else from you, anything else you need from me is down there as well. I love you, Sagittarius. I'll see you in extended. Have a good one. Peace.